Hey everyone, it's Greg and it's another edition of Unbreakable, the podcast. And today, TGIF, it's Friday, November the 10th. A um, couple of things today. There are rumors out there, of course, it's hot stove season for baseball. And there are rumors out there about all kinds of different free agent moves and potential trades involving uh, Nick Castellanos, Aaron Nola, will they re-sign him or not, Reese Hoskins. But there's one, one rumor out there that I wanted to address, and it's about Mike Trout. We're going trout fishing. <laughs> um, would Mike Trout agree to be traded to the Phillies? Would the Angels entertain trading Mike Trout to the Phillies. You know, the, first of all, the Angels are going over a makeover. Looks like uh, Otani may not re-sign with the Angels. Probably not. My guess is he's going to go to the Dodgers, but probably not back to the Angels. Uh, Angels, after taking a shot at uh, making the playoffs, it looks like they may rebuild which means uh, not only is Otani going to leave, but why not trade Mike, Mike Trout while you can get something for him? that? To me, that's the smart thing for the Angels to do at this point. Okay, so let's say they decide to, to trade Mike Trout, right? So uh, would he agree to come to, Philly, to the Phillies? You know, there were reports before. He's a local boy, we know. Trout is from Millville, New Jersey. Uh, you know, they had said before when Trout had an opportunity to be a free agent come to Philadelphia that he preferred to stay on the West Coast. He liked the West Coast. He signed a deal with the Angels, blah, blah, blah. But now in this stage of his career, you know, injuries are occurring more and more. He's getting older. Would he be open to being traded to the Phillies? A couple of reasons. Number one, Mike Trout uh, wants to make the playoffs. He wants a championship. He wants a ring, right? No ring on that finger. Ring. <laughs> um, he's not going to. He's not getting it with the Angels. Let's let's be frank. I mean, if uh, oh, Bud wants a tree. My friend Bud is right here on the floor. You can't see him, but you can probably hear him. Uh, okay, but um, the Angels couldn't make the playoffs, just make the playoffs with Trout and Otani, two of the best players in baseball. How are they going to make the playoffs without them, without Otani, right? I mean, let's be real. So, I would say uh, if Trout really, really, really wants a ring, if he wants a championship, at least get into the playoffs, it would behoove him to leave the West Coast, leave the Angels, and go elsewhere. And the most logical place is to come to Philadelphia, play with Bryce Harper, uh, Trey Turner, the rest of the guys, Bring him home. He's a hometown hero. Can you imagine the reception he would get? He's already an Eagles fan. He attends all the Eagles games when he can. Uh, sees a ticket holder for the Eagles. Um, it would be perfect. And here's my point. Remember Pete Rose? It took Pete Rose to get the 1980 Phillies over the hump. Phillies had a really a good, good, maybe even the, some would say a great team in the late 70s. 77, 78, 80, uh, 76 team was good. Uh, that 77 team may have been the best Phillies team ever. And they ended up uh, losing to the Dodgers in the playoffs. Black Friday, we don't want to talk about that. Um, so my point is, Phillies couldn't get over the hump back then. Brought in Pete Rose, who got the Phillies over the hop. First world championship ever. Mike Trout could be 
the Phillies, Pete Rose. Maybe that's what it takes. You know, I think some of Mike Trout's injuries have been a little fluky. Uh, the hammock bowed, swung last year, broke that bow there. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people say out oh, of Phillies don't want Trout because he's breaking down. I don't think so. Look at this. No, think about it. I'd rather take an 80% Mike Trout over most of the players playing today. That's He's a great, I know the word been, he's been a great player, Hall of Fame player. We're talking about Mike freaking Trout here. Oh, my God. For the Phillies, if the Angels pay some of his salary, great, great, okay. But uh, he's going to be worth so much. Like Harper sold the jerseys, uh, great for the city. Trout's going to do the same thing. All kinds of Trout jerseys at Citizen Park. You can just imagine. I'd rather have Mike Trout roaming center field than, uh, than anybody else. Johan Rojas is a great, great defensive center fielder, but he can't hit. He's only 22 years old. Hopefully he learns how to hit. But uh, I would be opposed if there's a deal with Trout. Uh, sending uh, among a package of Phillies players, sending Rojas to the Angels, because uh, either way you look at it, uh, Justin uh, Crawford, the former number one draft pick, Carl Crawford's son, great young player in the minor leagues, fast leadoff hitter, uh, center fielder. He's, he's coming. So, uh, I mean, look at it this way. Trout could play center field when he's healthy. Trout could be a DH, you know, split time with Schwarber. Uh, the, the thing that Trout gives you, too, everybody, he gives you protection in the batting order for Bryce Harper. Because we saw what teams are doing with Bryce Harper. They are going to pitch around him. That's what Arizona did in the playoffs. When they pitch around Bryce Harper, he's going to get frustrated. He's going to start swinging at pitches in the dirt or above his head because he's not getting anything to hit. And uh, teams are going to do that because they know that whoever is hitting behind Bryce Harper, whether it be Real Muto, Bohm, Castellanos, they'd rather pitch to them. Take their chances, right? Not Don't let Bryce Harper beat you. It's going to take a really, really great hitter to put behind Bryce Harper. So Bryce Harper isn't walked all the time. Duh. Put Br Mike Trout behind Bryce Harper in the lineup. Harper hits three. Trout hits four. How are you going to pitch around those guys? You're not. You're not. They're both going to have monster years. Uh, so, bring Mike Trout home. You know, uh, maybe he had some uh, apprehension about uh, playing in front of his, his, his family and friends in Philadelphia. Hopefully that has subsided. Mike Trout, we love you. Uh, we don't expect you to uh, fail, but even if you get off to a bad start, look what happened to Trey Turner last year, right? Got off to a bad start, uh, turned it around. Um, I have no doubt that Mike Trout is going to flourish, especially in a ballpark like Citizens Bank Park, where if he's healthy, he could hit 40 home runs a year. I mean, he still does everything well. If if it's a matter of switching out Nick Castellanos and Mike Trout, I would take Mike Trout 10 out of 10 times. He runs better. He throws better. He plays better defense. He's a better hitter. He's a better power hitter. And he's a local guy. I mean, what more do you need, right? Phillies, do the right thing. Explore the possibility of bringing Mike Trout to the Phillies. Okay? I rest my case. Final thing. <laughs> Flyers, there you go. Underdogs tonight. They're playing in Anaheim late. 
Uh, underdog Flyers are going to win tonight. Why? Three reasons. Number one, they have revenge against the Ducks. They beat the Ducks one week ago. No, I'm sorry. They lost to the Ducks. They lost to the Ducks one week ago today in Philadelphia. Ducks beat them. Okay, that's revenge, number one. Number two, Flyers are coming off an embarrassing loss to the winless, then winless Sharks in San Jose. Embarrassing to lose to that future team. They lost 11 games in a row, and then they beat the Flyers. They won last night, too. They beat Edmonton, so now they have two wins. But uh, uh, Flyers are going to play hard tonight after that embarrassment. Third reason. Ducks are coming off a long winning streak. Usually a team, they lose, break that winning streak, they lose the next game too. Uh, it's it's a it's a trend, it's a pattern. Anyway, everything, everything is lining up in the stars and the cards for the Flyers to win today. Underdogs too. So I'm just saying, if you were a betting man, I'm not telling you what to do. All right. So that's it for today. Uh, let's get Mike Trout into Philadelphia, right? And uh, if you're out there listening, Mike Trout, please come home. Lassie, come home. Trout, come home. <laughs> anyway, Bud, say goodbye. You can't see him, but trust me, he is on the floor. And I, that's who I've been giving lead treats to all this time while we're talking. I'm not just giving them to the floor and dropping them on the floor. I'm giving them the butter. Okay. So anyway, everybody have a good Friday. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, Saturday. Give you my NFL pick. While we'll talk about well, We can't talk Eagles. Ugh. Oh, my God. What are we going to do? The world is going to end. No Eagles football this week, huh? We're stuck watching the stinking New York Giants against the stinking Dallas Cowboys, huh? Yeah. Oh, my God, I'd rather have stick forks in my eyes. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, okay, see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye.